The Associated Press recently released a treasure trove of high-quality footage documenting its journalistic work in Grenada just days after Maurice Bishop and the NJM seized state power in 1979. Their leader is a 34-year-old London-trained barrister, Maurice Bishop, now Grenada's self-imposed prime minister. The footage catalogues scenes of Sir Eric Matthew Gary, the island's father of independence, at a house party celebrating his recent feat of attaining independence for Grenada from Britain in 1974. One of the highlights of the reel was a wide-ranging interview with Prime Minister Maurice Bishop. The late Prime Minister can be seen emerging from a red sedan along with other members of the New Jewel movement. We had received information on the Saturday before the Tuesday that the intention of the government was to search us and detain us. We decided to go underground. While we were underground, more information came to us on the Monday morning that the plan was that Gary was going to flee the country, leaving orders to have our leadership killed. We therefore, around 3 o'clock, summoned a council, a meeting of our top cadres, and there and then the decision was taken that we should move rather than wait to be killed. People have tried to get rid of me, and I don't think they can make it. Lots of them who have tried are lying in the cemetery. The visiting Associated Press journalists were then taken on a tour of the ransacked house of Sir Eric Gary, where Bernard Cord and Maurice Bishop engaged in full-on mockery of Gary's personal collection of voodoo and black magic items. About flying saucers, in which he firmly. Um, I think you probably have to just yeah, take on the other side. Yes, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. We but we want you to come to the print. Give us permission just to go up and take a few shots of the radio station. Yeah, sure. Could we do that? Okay. We haven't seen it ourselves, so you'll be seeing it with us. Okay, thank you. But we are very intrigued to see inside. We've been hearing some very interesting stories. Thank you. I'm sure you'd enjoy it yourself. Thank you. Bernard Uni, let's go. Yes, we have your camera. Under pressure under the old regime. Maurice Bishop, who had himself been imprisoned by Gary, led the search of the building, which also produced evidence of Gary's interest in voodoo and witchcraft. The footage ends with Maurice Bishop committing to holding free and fair elections in Grenada. We are hoping that process will be completed fairly soon. We are about to get involved in the question of enumerating the li list of voters, which is, of course, a necessary prerequisite to the holding of fair and free elections. Did you I have can't give you a date, but we are working on it. Did you have outside help in, in staging and mounting this revolution? The process is an entirely independent one. No outside help at all. And are you expecting, or do you have a message for um, other governments who are watching events here and wondering what they should be doing? We want to continue the closest, friendliest relations to those countries that we now have links and ties with, particularly with our CARICOM neighbors. We respect the sovereign rights of every country. We have no intention of interfering in their own domestic affairs. We ask that they do not try to interfere in ours. Four years later, Mr. Bishop, two-thirds of his cabinet colleagues, and scores of citizens were assassinated by members of their own government. Their remains have never been found, and those convicted for their murder have all been released from Grenada's prison. October 19, 1983 remains one of the bloodiest days in contemporary Grenadian history. This is Kellen Bubb.